Morning. Uh, it is a nice and cool morning out here, and uh, hopefully today will be a good day, or at least an okay day for, for most folks. Um, I am sitting here on the porch looking out at my yard and noticing that maybe I cut my grass a little bit too short. So there's some bare spots out there. Um, and then looking around too, I'm seeing some of our plants in our front yard are, are doing well and others are not. And I'm just thinking about how fragile things are. Uh, yesterday and a couple of days ago, I've been around and um, have seen some uh, nice looking gardens. And, and I'm jealous of people that have green thumbs because that's just not me. Uh, and so what are the things that, that you can do to make sure that you're putting the right plants in your yard or giving each of them the right kind of care that they need. Some need more water, some need less, some need more shade, some need more sun, some need other things, some need different kinds of soil that maybe you don't have, so you have to supplement what you've got in the back. So just thinking about how fragile things are and how hard it can be uh, to, to have plants alive in the yard. And so um, I was thinking about that today as I thought about how hard it is to do what God has called us to do, to, um, to love ourselves and to love our neighbors and to love God. Uh, it's a, we can try so many different ways and still kind of fail sometimes. It's, it's hard to, to do all that we've been called to do. It's hard to make sure that we're giving everybody that we know in our lives the right kind of care and the right kind of love. It's hard to love ourselves enough. And there's only so much we can do. Sometimes things just happen. Sometimes plants um, don't get what they need, or sometimes plants uh, are eaten up by squirrels. Um, sometimes plants just have some something happen in their lives and they don't make it. So uh, it can be frustrating, it can be exhausting, but um, it's, it's tough out there. So just thinking about how fragile things are uh, and how we continue to um, push on, how we continue to live our own lives and live lives with each other and care for God's creation in the different ways that we know how. But um, it's a fragile thing out there. And so that's, I think, why we come together as a community of faith sometimes uh, to, to sort of embrace each other and to prop each other up and to give each other tips and also just to hold each other when things don't work out. So think about those things today and hope that y'all are doing all right. I'm um, going to go ahead and pray and then we'll go about our days and see what God has in store for us today. But let us pray. God, we lead such fragile lives and we ask for you to be in them, to give us the strength and the courage and the, uh, the faith and the hope and the love and the grace that we need to get through these days. And we ask that those things come to us each and every day, but that also we, we have the um, awareness to know that even on days when we feel far from you, we are not, that we are close to you, that we are surrounded um, by the little things that happen here and there and by the constant presence of your spirit in our lives. So. Give us the things that we need to um, to push through some of the fragility and vulnerability in our lives uh, and to, to get through difficult days so that good days can feel just as good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day. Uh, and God bless.